Hello student. In this video, we are going to talk about basics in hypothesis testing. First of all, you know that hypothesis testing has two hypotheses, null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis is denoted by H0 and the alternative hypothesis is denoted by H1. Okay. So, what are, what are these symbols? These symbols are symbols that we can use to write down a particular set of hypothesis testing. You know that when we write an alternative hypothesis and a null hypothesis, we write those together. Just like if you write a null hypothesis, then it has its alternative hypothesis. Likewise, so these symbols in each row are the symbols that you can use together for a particular set of hypotheses. If you use this symbol, the equal symbol in null hypothesis, then your alternative hypothesis can contain not equal sign not equal symbol or less than symbol or greater than symbol. That means if your null has this one, you can have alternative hypothesis with this one or your null has equal and then your alternative has this one. Your null has equal and your alternative has this one. Likewise. Okay. The next one is when you have less than or equal sign in your null hypothesis, you can only have greater than symbol in the alternative hypothesis. If you have greater than or equal symbol in the null hypothesis, then you can have less than symbol in alternative hypothesis. If you have noticed some similar property in null hypothesis, you can see that always H0 contains the symbol with an equal in it. This is just the equal sign and see here, less than or equal, greater than or equal. So, HA or the alternative hypothesis, H1 or HA, whatever you can use. Alternative hypothesis never has a symbol with an equal in it. Okay, now we should move into the population parameter. You know that we take a sample and then do hypothesis testing with proper distribution, you know that Z distribution, T distribution, chi square distribution or whatever the distribution and take conclusions, decisions about the population. So, what we test in hypothesis testing is about population parameters. So, there are three kind of population parameters that we are going to use. Population mean or average, mu. Population proportion, p. And the population standard deviation, sigma. When you write the claims and also when you write down the null and alternative hypothesis, you should use this population parameters. You know that sample statistics for these things is x bar, that means the sample. For the sample, we note down the mean of the sample or the average as x bar and the pop, uh, proportion as the proportion of the sample, we use p hat and the standard deviation of the sample, we use f. We are not going to use these kind of symbols when we write down null and alternative hypothesis. That's because we are going to 
talk about the whole population, not about the sample. We use these type of things to take the decision about the sample, about the population. We take sample statistics to decide, take the decisions about the population. So, we mix these things and take uh, test at, uh, the test, test, test statistic, uh, t test statistic or whatever the test statistic we are going to take according to the sample statistics. But the claims and the null and alternative hypothesis are in the form of population parameters. Okay. Now, we should practice how we can write down and how we can identify the claim and the things. In some questions, they directly say that someone claims, someone states that, something like that. In addition to that one, there are some other words. We want to test. See, we want to test whether. So, that is what they want to test about the population. And next, you should identify what is the parameter here. We want to test whether the mean, this is the parameter. So, you know the symbol of that one, mu. Mean GPA of students in a, some college is different from 2. Next, you should identify what is the symbol that you can use. Okay. First, write the claim in symbolic format. Okay. Now, the claim is we want to test whether the mean GPA of students in a, some college is different from 2, 2.0. Now, different from, this is the sign we use to write down equals. This is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than or equal, this is less than or equal. This is the symbol that we are going to use when it comes to the different, the word different from, different from something. So, according to that one, we can write down our claim in the symbolic format. Mu not equal to 2.0. Next, next, you should write down the symbolic opposite of the claim. Okay. Can you remember the previous slide? If you have this one, okay. If you have this symbol, the symbolic opposite of that one is the equal sign. If you have this one, the symbolic opposite of that one is this sign. So, according to that one, how you can write down the symbolic opposite of this claim is this. Okay. Now we should decide which one should go to null and the which one will go to the alternative hypothesis. So, you know that definitely the equal sign should contain the, should be in the null hypothesis. So, our h naught should be mu equals 2.0. Now, here this one is our claim. We should note down that one. And our alternative hypothesis. You can write either H1 or HA. That is going to be this one. Okay. Now, our null and alternative hypothesis for this question is done. Let's move into the next one. We want to test. Okay, now this is the claim then. 
we want to test if college students take less than 5 years to graduate from college on the average. This is the population parameter. Again, mu. Now write down the claim in symbolic format. Mu. Okay. Take less than 5 hours. Okay. Less than. Only less than. Less than 5. Less than 5 years. Okay. Now, this is the claim in symbolic format. Now, we should take the opposite of this one. Okay. How to write down the opposite of this one? Okay. This is the opposite. According to that one, this statement contains the equal in it. So, it goes to the null hypothesis. So, our null hypothesis, let me write it in red. Null hypothesis is mu greater than or equal to 5 years. And alternative hypothesis is mu less than 5. And this is our claim. For the previous one, this is our claim. Okay. Good. Let's move into the next one. Okay. It has some additional detail. Okay. Let's see. On a state driver's test, about 40% pass the test on the first try. There's no any claim, right? Just a statement. But check whether they want to test that one or something else. Okay. Now they say, we want to test. Ah, that is the claim then. We want to test if more than 40% pass on the first try. First of all, yeah, 40 percentage, that's correct. But what is the population parameter here? Yes, it is the proportion, population proportion, this one. What they want to test is P greater than 40 percentage. Or you can write down in this way. Whatever the way. Both are correct. More than 40% pass on the first try. Okay. Now, we have to write down the opposite of this one. That's going to be... According to this one, you see that equal sign on this statement. So, our null hypothesis is... And the alternative hypothesis is this one. Okay. Let's meet with another video.